welcome all in this lecture number 5 we are going to discuss the variety of the question that we are going to face in this chapter so there are basically three types of the question that we are going to face first one is the type first type second and type third let's discuss about the question of type first in the type first questions the whole row of the route array will become zero that is the route array will be represented like this in which x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 are the non zero values it can be anything but the entire row any of the row of the route array will become completely zero like this so this type of question comes under type 1 category so how to solve this type of questions first of all we have to find out the auxiliary equation in this type of questions the auxiliary equation can be formed by the help of the row of the route array just above the all zero row that is this row by the help of this row we can easily form the auxiliary equation so this row will help us in forming the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation will be denoted by a of s in the second step we will find out the differentiation of the auxiliary equation that is the d by ds of a of s where a of s is the auxiliary equation and d by ds represents its differentiation only after that we are going to get the result from this differentiation and we will get and another equation as its output the another equation that we are going to get will be our result and we are going to separate out its coefficient and put that coefficient on the place of this all zero row so in this way we are going to deal with this type of type 1 questions let's move on to the type 2 questions in the type 2 questions we will counter the first element of a row of a route array becomes zero in this type of question x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 x8 and further all these are the non negative elements non zero elements but any of the element of a route array that is the first element of any row will become zero and either elements are non zero then this type of questions come under the type 2 category how to deal this type of questions we have to first replace s in the characteristic equation with 1 by z since the characteristic equation is always be given in the function of s in the laplace domain so we have to replace s with 1 by z after that we will take the lcm and rewrite the characteristic equation after rewriting the characteristic equation we will again form a route array and solve it easily in this way we are going to deal with the type 2 questions let's move on to the type 3 questions in the type 3 questions neither first element nor the whole row become zero that is neither type 1 question or neither type 2 question all the elements of the type 3 questions are non zero at least the first element of the first element of the each and every column of a route array will be non zero that is x1 x4 x7 and so on will be a non zero elements so this type of question comes under the type 3 category in this way we are going to check that the system given to us is stable or not based on these three type of categories Thank you.